What's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing video. Today what we're gonna do is something a little fun, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been wanting to see out of these two little trout trolling lures, which one fishes best. So what we have is just the... Well hey everyone, I'm so sorry for interrupting this video, but don't go anywhere. I have a special, special announcement. June 28th, our summer apparel drop. We're gonna be dropping apparel every single quarter now, limited edition items, sweatshirts, hats, some special tackle items, all sorts of things that you are not going to want to miss. This is a limited drop, so once the stuff's sold out, it's gone. We got a link in our description down below, addicted.fishing. Stay tuned, now back to your video. The original floating Rapala versus the jointed Rapala. Both of them floating lures, both of them rigged up exactly the same way. So let me show you how I rigged them. Basically all I have here on this rod, I'm using a spinning setup. But basically what I've done is I have a three-way swivel, a dropper down there coming off there with my Dave's Tangle Free weight. That's a quarter ounce weight. And then about 36 inches a liter down to my floating Rapala. So that's number one. And just so everything was fair, I rigged this rod the exact same way. It's on a casting rod, it's on a trolling rod, but it's rigged identical. We got our three-way swivel down to our dropper, Dave's Tangle Free, quarter ounce, about 36 inches a liter, to the floating Rapala. And what we're gonna do, there's a bunch of trout in this lake. We've been having a fun little day out here catching a bunch of trout. They, they recently stalked it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna troll these lures against each other and see which one hooks the most fish in 10 minutes. So we're gonna get on the troll here, cue the 10 minute timer, and we're gonna see which one of these lures catches more fish out of the two. All right guys and gals out there watching, so the only difference between these two lures is one has a joint in it. Basically the tail kind of wiggles back and forth. We're gonna send them back there about the same distance. I'm gonna use my line counter here. And I'm gonna just drop it in there. Let's get on the troll and I'm gonna start sending this one back a little bit. I'm gonna put it at like 30, 40 feet behind us. And hope, hopefully that quarter ounce weight will get it down just a little bit for us. These fish have been, they've been not right on the surface, just kind of subsurface. I'm gonna put that guy back there a decent way. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this guy, but because we have a, a spinning reel, I'm gonna just kind of get up here and cast this one a little bit. And then once we get both of them in the water and we're trolling, and what we'll do is we'll start that freaking timer up and see what happens here. Hopefully the trout cooperate watch, neither of them will get bit. That'd be just my luck. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is gonna get bit? Is it gonna be the floating Rapala? Or is it gonna be the joiner Rapala? Which one's gonna work better? Okay, here we go. We're on the troll. Let's get the timer going. We're gonna go here. 10 minutes commence. So I'm gonna keep trying to like adjust my speed here and probably letting line out and bringing line in just until we kind of figure out where these fish are at. We've been fishing out here for a while and we've, we've kind of got them dialed in but every time we change a lure, it changes a little bit of where the fish are biting. You can see they're jumping everywhere out here. It's a freaking beautiful day out here. There's a lot of people. We were supposed to get hit with thunderstorms and rain all day today. Um, but we had a little bit of thunderstorming and raining this morning, but since then it, it's been pretty quiet out here. Not, not bad at all. Really calm, a little fog on the lake. Lots of people out here fishing. They just recently stocked this, so there's a lot of little stalker trout in here to catch. Um, show you guys here. We've been we've been whacking a few of them here. So I thought it'd be a good time to just put these two lures to the test. We were using the Brad's um, the Brad's little wiggler, which is another variation of a plug. I'll drop a video down below so you guys can check that one out. But uh, Rapala's kind of always been the old standby when it comes to trolling plugs. Now it's just a matter of trolling it into a fish. 
We're eight minutes. We're already two minutes in. Haven't even got a bite yet, folks. We're in the zone right now, addicts. We're in. We're, we're in the zone where we've been getting bit pretty good. Hoping something happens here. Hoping something happens. I'm gonna let this back a little farther. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting it back there behind the boat so these fish can't see you or detect you. And then we may need to troll faster too, just to get a little bit more erratic action on these on these baits. Alrighty guys, five minutes down. We haven't got a bite yet. Of course this would happen. We've been we've been hooking them pretty good. And of course when we go to do the little challenge video, we're not gonna hook them. Maybe they just don't want the Rapalas. We're gonna keep keep it going here and see what happens in the next five minutes. There's a really good area as we troll down this side of the lake, so I'm hoping, hoping we can find them. Ten minutes is up, folks. We did a we did a quick circle around the lake, not even around half the lake, and didn't even have a bite. And what's really weird, everyone, is these fish have stopped jumping. They were jumping all over the place. Now they're not jumping, so I don't know what's going on. We're gonna give it another ten minutes here, see what happens. I'm gonna let some more line out and just kind of play with the speeds and see if we can find something here. All right, guys, I think we're gonna switch weights. We're gonna switch weights out. Something's, something's not right. Oh, this one just got hit, did you see that? We were like barely moving, did you see that? That means it got hit as the weight was sinking. That's crazy. We're gonna switch this weight out and go deeper. I think these fish, I think we've stopped seeing them jump and they're just not on this top water of the water column anymore. So I'm gonna put a heavier weight on there. Go with a go with a half ounce of lead. Except it's not lead because it's Dave's tangle free, folks. Lead free. Clip it on to the duo snap here. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Look at that thing wiggling out there. Looks good. All right, we got some heavier lead on there now. Let's start this timer over at 10. See what happens with that. bite on the jointed guys. First bite five minutes into the heavier weights. I don't know if we can count it because we didn't get it but the jointed definitely just got hammered. had one addicts so far the jointed's gotten hit three times the floating one has not gotten hit at all oh he's following it see him following it he was following it in like crazy three bites jointed zero bites original floating oh that just got hit i saw that Dang, addicts, we just got rubber hooks or something on here. We cannot get these things to commit. We finally just had a bite on the floater. So now that's three bites on the jointed, one bite on the floater. Zero fish landed. Not very cool. There, oh, just got freaking hammered again. 
Oh my gosh, dude. We keep getting bit on the jointed. The jointed's definitely proving to be the better bait out here, but I think just a lot of these fish are really, really small. I'm, I'm noticing a couple of the other anglers actually landing some of these fish and they're only like just little guys. I don't think the hooks are sticking in their mouths good. We're showing the floater. Okay, well, hopefully we can land this one. I think we literally already lost him, guys. I'm gonna keep reeling in just in case he's like not fighting hard, but I'm pretty sure we freaking lost him already. Yep. Well, at least the floater had one. The original floating Rapala. He was there. All right, update everyone. We just lost one on the floater. That's the first bite we've gotten on the original floater. I just had another just solid takedown on the jointed. So that's now five or six bites on the jointed, one bite on the floater, and literally zero landed fish. Only two actually hooked where I was reeling them in, but they both came off. So, not cool, not cool. You'd think I had rubber hooks on there. I don't know what's going on. Okay, everyone, I reeled in. I'm gonna take the weights off. I'm gonna try just flatlining these back there a ways and see, see if that does any better for us. We've gotten a lot of bites, about seven or eight, actually eight or nine bites on the jointed and two or three bites on the floating. Had one on on the floating that we lost, had two on on the jointed that we lost both. So I just don't feel completed until we land one of these suckers. Just see that? Dude, it folded. It was such a good bite. What the hell? The floater. The floater's coming through at the end, dude. He hasn't got he, we haven't landed. We haven't got really any bites on this guy at all. He's gonna freaking he's gonna come through for us. Oh, it's a big one. He's taking line. Oh, it's a nice one, dude. Look at that. Right here. Right in the kisser. All right, everyone, we're gonna let this guy go. I don't really, I don't really want this, dude. Success. Finally, after, after trying so hard for so long, we finally had a biter. So, verdict so far. Lots of bites on the jointed, a lot, a lot of bites. I can't, I don't even know how many, but it's been a lot and they haven't been hooking up very well. But we finally had a nice solid takedown on the original floater and we landed one. So, so far, I mean, realistically, the floater's winning 1-0, but the jointed's getting a lot more bites. So I don't know, I don't know what the, what the deal is with that. I don't know why it's not hooking up better. But we're gonna keep at it here for for one second and see if we can't hook a hook a couple more here. Get these back out and fishing. Sean wasn't filming the takedown, guys, but we just hooked one. We got trolling a little bit farther and we got one on the jointed. So I think the key has been these fish are just on the top. So that first little round that we were doing, we were running the weight, we just weren't finding them because oh. Oh, did you see him throw the hook? Oh. But, again, jointed Rapala. It's getting bit. It's getting bit and it's getting bit good. So if it were me and I was going to the store and I had a choice between the original floater and the jointed, I'd be going jointed. Holy crap. <laughs> that thing was ripped in line. I had the drag set so loose. The floater's making a comeback. The original floater, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, oh, frick, that's a nice one. So there it is, folks. The original 
floating Rapala. And that thing crushed it. That was a good takedown. All right, everyone, so there you have it. We had the jointed, we had the original, and I think the original one. We landed two really nice fish on it. We could not land something on the float on the on the jointed. The original floater, you know, it's a little bit, you know, smaller in size as you can see. Um, these hooks are a little bit bigger. Maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe I needed to downsize those hooks, but regardless, the floater wins. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your guys' experience is with these two lures. I think flatlining them is definitely the way to go. When we tried the lead in the beginning, we just were not getting bit. So that was a fun little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Me and Sean are out here on the local lake just filming a bunch of trout videos today for all you addicts out there. So thanks again. We appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you on the river.